Yeah. Takes a village. Uh, and when you're saying church, you know, uh, so churches of people, you got a church anywhere. Yeah. You have, you, have, yeah. you have people that I've met. One gentleman, he has a service at, um, uh, it's a, it's a movie theater here. Yeah. Um, can, uh, can, uh, the AM, it's changed so many names yeah. now, but over yeah. on South Broadway, um, you can have church anywhere. I can have church in yeah. the living room. Yeah. I can pastor and minister to wherever, you know? Yeah, that's true. But I, I think it's just, you've morphed into something that will please your soul and heart, but also you are able to share that joy with others. Mm-hmm. And you're sitting here saying, I've been already together for five years. That to me is ministering yourself and others. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I I gravitate towards that. Yeah. I, I don't gravitate towards the clicks and I, I just, I'm too outspoken, you know? Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I can't, I, mean, I don't like that foolishness, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, you have, did you, you're having, did you already have it, a cleanup day? That cleanup day is, is tomorrow. Okay, to okay. Be exact. Okay, um, okay. You, this is, okay. Your, you've done these. No, this will be our first one. Oh, this will be our first, this, okay, okay. This will be the launching of our empowerment uh, service day. And what we hope to do is uh, every six weeks uh, in, uh, institute a cleaning day somewhere in the North Tyler uh, area. And, um, and we hope that this will catch on. We hope that we build a network of volunteers to where this will become a weekly thing. I'm talking about like uh, repairing the elderly person porch or painting the house, an elderly person house, or cutting a single mother's uh, yeah. lawn, you right, know, right, things right, like right. that. So, Helping each other. Exactly, exactly. Hey, so, you, you know, and it's funny because I, I, I live, I don't, I live in East Tyler. By over by UT Tyler and um, you know not to bring politics into this, but um, there's parts of my district where I live in that's beautiful, and there's other parts because I was a Boy Scout you know for a long time, and yeah. Boy Scouts is a great organization if anybody ever wants to put their kids or Girl Scouts without all the other craziness that's going on right yeah. now. But um, and I want to clean up. I, I see like cans, and 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 I was that friend that would tell you and I would curse at you if you would litter. I'm like that. And there, I want to go and take a trash bag. And so that's yeah. great that you're doing something like yeah. I, I need to, you know, that, that pleases my soul and my heart. Yeah. I got another chance at life in 2018. I shouldn't, I really shouldn't be here, you know, but I got another chance. And uh, one t- one day I'll, I'll tell my story. You know, I've told a little bit to Dr. McKellen and, and the people that know that, that yeah. need to know. Um, I love stuff like that. I love yeah. helping my neighbor. Um, one of the uh, uh, Boy Scouts that have like um, a Scouters Trustworthy Honor, uh, I can't remember, it's been years, but reverent, clean, thrifty, and those things that I've implemented in my life, I love helping people. I'm the yeah. person that will help the old lady across the street, yeah, you know? Exactly. And if one of my neighbors, I have a neighbor uh, currently now, He's uh, his wife's uh, deceased, and I go check on him every now and then. Just make sure he's okay. Yeah. So that's, that's good. And, and but it's even better, especially on the north end of town. Yeah. Because of the, all the comments. Um, which leads me to my next uh question. Uh, are you are you from here, from Tyler? Are you a local? No, kid? I'm. Are you... I'm. Uh, I was born and bred and raised in East Texas, uh, a little community called Antioch. Uh, oh, okay. Chandler, okay. not White House, but Antioch, Chandler. Um. Uh, yeah, it sits between uh, Brownsboro, Brownsboro and, area, yeah, Moore Station. Yeah, 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 yeah. From that area, uh, went uh, graduated from Brownsboro High. Yeah, yeah. So I'm an outsider. Okay, okay. Uh, when it comes to Tyler, and uh, your country, kind of a country boy, a little. Oh yeah, right? yeah. Okay, I, okay. I, I was raised in the country, but the country is not in me most definitely. I wish it was. Because uh, I'm, not riding I'm scared horses. of board, bears. I'm not bears, but I'm scared of, of bugs and oh, okay, okay, all right. of that krillers and stuff. I, <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay. And so I, I say I was raised in the country, but the country is not in me. Uh, my mother was a great mother. Is a great mother. She's still alive. Uh, she was and my father. They've been married for fifty seven oh, years. Wow. Uh, they. Uh, oh, my mother so was real. Uh, Shatherin. Okay. Over us. How, how many siblings do you have? Seven. Seven. Four, four boys and three girls. Okay. That's a brood right there. And so uh, she was very sheltering. Some things she wouldn't allow 
us to get involved with. Okay. And with different kids in the community, which I look back now and count it a, uh, a great blessing, uh, because, uh, she was a protector of, uh, of her seven children. And, um, I said she was strict, but then she wasn't overly strict. She wasn't like strict to the point that you can't go to the football games. You can't do this. You can't do right. that. But she was sheltering and in, 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 in her own way of trying to protect and keep us like she she didn't know, know nobody or, or or not to say she didn't know nobody she only did what she knew exactly and, okay. like she didn't want us to get hurt like she didn't want us no, to, no, I mean, didn't she, want the boys to play uh football because she felt like no my baby would get hurt so no, we didn't, no, that, we didn't that's, play that's, football. You know, I, so. I think um man i literally was just talking about this yesterday um <laughs> In 10 years, the NFL is not going to be what the NFL is, mm. to me, my opinion. Maybe. Because they're kind of a, a lot of stuff's going on in the background right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these new kids, Mahomes, and uh, especially Patrick, I mean, yeah, he's phenomenal. You know, shout oh, out yeah. to him. He's in the Super Bowl. He came from White House, you know. But from a <laughs> business perspective, because it's a business. Yeah. If more mothers were like your mom, I feel like, more kids, especially in our communities, wouldn't be as suffering, if that makes sense. Yeah, I hear you. Because you have a lot of kids, oh, my baby's going to be the start in this, this, and this. It's like a like your child's an accolade instead of a kid. Let mm. a kid be a kid. If yeah. you don't want to play football, don't let him play football. Let him go play to learn the piano. Nah, the piano ain't going to make no money. Yeah. It's all about money. Uh, you know, your child is not a, uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I, you know, I but what um, you after you graduated high school, where the, where did life take you? Well, um, I I went into the workforce. It's okay. something I, I did attempt to go in the military, uh, but they uh, they say it I didn't sky, uh, score her high enough on my uh, on my whatever you call yeah. it to go to the Air Force. Okay, and I didn't want to go to the Army. I heard too many horror stories <laughs> stories about boot camp and yeah, yeah, all yeah. of that. So I'm like, if I can't go to the Air Force, I'm not going. So I uh, entered the workforce and my wife and I, well, I met my wife, my wife now, and uh, that's been 30 years ago. Oh, congratulations. And uh, so I was 20 and she was 18. And so we got married. And so what I've been doing is uh, raising kids. And now we have eight grandbabies. Uh, I've been How many grandbabies? Eight. Well, congratulations. We three, I love kids, brother. So I, <laughs> We have three beautiful daughters and a son. Our son doesn't have any children, but um, uh, all three of our daughters um, um, have uh, one of your, spouses. So. Well, you said uh, you, you don't have a, a, a nephew or a kid that cooks. Yeah. Yeah, I have a nephew. A nephew. You have a nephew that uh, Kofor's box or something. That's exactly. your nephew. Exactly. Okay. Hot I, box. Hot box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that on on social media, yeah. and it, it'll be looking good. I just, <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah. be, uh, you know, something else take my uh, my attention away. Yeah. Um, so after you work, entered into the workforce, uh, <coughs> when did uh, the whole ministry? When did that come calling? I um, I actually uh, started the ministry in men. I was a uh, Back in as a teenager, mm -hmm. I started leading a group that my brother and brother in law had started. It was a quartet like group. Okay. And um uh I was twelve years old and I start I became the leader of that group eventually. Okay. And so uh during that process of things, uh I didn't want to be a preacher. Uh I just wanted to be a singer. I right, just right. wanted to sing. I remember one time my aunt she said, you're going to be a preacher one day. I said, I don't want to be a preacher. I said, I want to sing. And she said, well, you can do both. And.